Right, what if I told you that you're probably already doing what your next business should be? Okay, let's talk through this for a second. What is something that someone asks you to do? Think of that. Your neighbor, your friend, they ask you, hey, Sam, can you come do this for me? For example, my neighbor, he can build a table. He put up my basketball goal. He's going to hang my TV. My neighbor is extremely handy. And so what he does on, his, on the side is he does those things for other people. What, is your people. what do your people ask you to do? Don't know what that is. So everybody's got something. The biggest thing you've got to do is take some sort of action. You've got to take some sort of action in what it is. Don't just think about, oh, I want to own my own business. Okay? You've got to work outside your nine to five. You're going to have to do things outside of the job that you normally have. Here's the question to ask yourself. Ready? What are you good at? Everybody's good at something. Okay? Are you technical? Can you code? Do you do admin? Or do you, could you be a VA? Don't know. Can you make stuff? Can you sell stuff on Etsy? One of my, my wife's best friends, she sold earrings and things like that for years on Etsy and made a lot of good side income. Can you sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace? Don't know. I don't make stuff, so I, don't, I can't answer that. But I do know a lot of people that can. Service. Can you cut grass? Can you operate a power washer? Can you be a handyman? My next, I go back to my neighbor. He's incredible. He can do so many great things that I can't do. And so I, I paid him today to put up my basketball goal. Number one, I didn't have time. Number two, it would have taken me five times the amount of time to do that thing. So I paid him to do that. What, another question you have to ask him, what can you do for people? That's the question. Can you do something for people? If you can do that, go do that for somebody else. You'll have to at some point choose to be a business owner as a when at some point you'll have to choose being a business owner. At some point you're gonna have to choose being a business owner over hanging out with friends or making decisions because being a business owner, you're for at least when you start, you're never off. I got friends, I got a friend named Sam. He talked about it at one point when he was first started photography. He worked all the time. He did this, he did that. Now he's scaled it back to where he doesn't have to do that because he's got his business established. When you first start, you got to work a lot. It's just the way it is. The last thing is, if you really, really want to own your own business, go buy a franchise. It's a business in a box. Some are extremely expensive, some are not as expensive. But what they do is they want you to succeed. So if they want you to succeed, they're going to equip you. They take your money, but they're going to equip you to succeed because when you make money, they're going to make money. So there's so many different things out there if you want to own your own business. I guarantee you're probably doing one now, and if you really want it bad enough, there's so many different things you can do.